Greetings everyone! In this lesson, we get to know how to add audio and sound effects to your projects. We will first add a music track to the level and continue with some sound cues. We will try out spatialization, reverb, and we'll further process the audio with effects. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Before anything, Unreal only supports WAV format at 16 bits. So keep that in mind when creating your sounds. In this example, I want to have a piano song when playing my level. In the content browser, import your audio file. This type of asset is a sound wave. You can preview it when clicking on the thumbnail. To make it play in your level, drag it in your scene. The song will now be played through the ambient sound actor. You can find that actor in the Place Actors panel and set any sound waves to play. This actor's property will allow you to change pitch, volume, modulation and more. Now hit play. Easy as that. After a while though, the music will come to an end and won't loop. Let's fix that. In the content browser, add a sound cue. This asset is used to create more complex sounds. On open, we get a graph that is similar to a material as it works by connecting nodes. Start by adding your song into the graph. That node is a wave player, used to play any sound waves. In the details panel, you can change the sound wave but you can also activate looping. Plug the node in the final output. You can preview the sound cue with the play cue in the toolbar. Alternatively, you can add a looping node that lets you decide how many times you want to repeat the sound wave. And that's done. To use the sound cue, use any ambient sounds or drop the asset in your scene. Let's get a bit further with sound cues. In this example, I'll be creating a knocking sound effect. I import four different audio files of someone knocking on a wooden door. Create a sound cue and drag your new sound waves in the graph. The next thing we need is a random node. Avoid making manual connections. Before creating the random, select your sound waves and then add your node. To see what we have so far, hit the play node in the toolbar. This works, but only play once. Next one is the looping with default settings. To add a bit of time between each sound waves played, add a delay. This has a minimum and maximum delay time expressed in seconds. If we'd like to, we could add a modulator for random variation in volume and pitch. Plug it in the final output and we're done. Place the sound cue in the scene and play. This is working, but we can't tell where this sound is coming from. In the details panel, go in the spatialization category. Spatialization is enabled by default but is not working. This is because this effect requires attenuation settings. This is a type of asset that can be created via the content browser. Place your new attenuation settings in the slot. When playing, we can now locate the source of the sound. This asset has a lot of properties to play with. Change the radius and fall off from the source air absorption to simulate distant sounds, or occlusion to block the sound when behind walls. Now to add even more immersion, I'll add reverb to simulate the sound bouncing of walls. To make the reverb effect work, you first need to place an audio volume. These are the bounds in which the reverb effect will take place. You could place many audio volumes for different reverb effects. With that in place, in the content browser, add a reverb effect in sound effect. 
select the audio volume and in the details panel, place the reverb effect in the correct slot. Default settings might be very subtle, but you can open the reverb to play with some properties. Lastly, we could further process the sound with other effects. In the content browser, create a source effect preset chain. This is the chain of effects we can use to process sounds. Create a new element and as a preset, create a new source effect preset. Here you can pick from a list of cool effects. Now to make it work, place the effect chain in any ambient sound. You can edit your FX preset and try out many of them. And this wraps it up for this lesson. The audio engine in Unreal is very fun and powerful to use. With these tools, you will get that extra layer of depth to your projects. So until next time, you take care and have fun with it.